Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You. <laughs> Hello Vogue, welcome to my home. It is boiling, but it is very cool in my house, so come on in. So this is my living area. Most of the time I congregate here. I made some cakes, very bad ones. They look nice at least, kind of. I make a bulletproof coffee, what they call a bulletproof coffee every day. I discovered these about a year ago. I never drank coffee. I hated the taste of coffee. I loved the smell, hated the taste. And I would have green tea every day, but it wasn't quite enough of a kick. And then this is my prized possession. This has been over quarantine, my milk frother, which sounds so boring, but it's the little things, right? I don't really drink much milk, so I use any kind of fake milk, basically. So I use a bit of coffee, just pour it in, you know, depending on how tired you are. MCT oil, all you need to know is that it wakes you the f up. I add a bit of turmeric, turmeric's always good, with a bit of pepper to help you absorb it. Any kind of sweetener, because I have such a sweet tooth. Put a bit of that in. So this seems like totally mad for just one coffee, but this is kind of like my breakfast. I essentially just try and make a dessert for breakfast. Not gonna lie, I have actually already had one, so if I have another, I, I might die. It's kind of a bit all over the place. Here's my little keyboard. I listen to a lot of an Audi, and my dream is to be able to play just one Ludovico and Audi song. Then I've got an obscene amount of crockery and glasses, which I just absolutely don't ever use or need. I mean, when did I get these? I just don't know when I got these. Unless they were a gift, in which case, thank you very much. I'm a bit funny when it comes to houses because I don't like big, big houses. I like being enclosed. I did actually rent a ginormous rock star house for a bit um, and I just hated it. You could hear a pin drop. It was just it was too big and didn't need any of the rooms. So I just find this really cosy and I love the light as well. I think that's really important. Now I've got to an age where it sounds like I've got to an age where I have to really look after myself. But to be honest, quarantine has been chilled out a bit and I've been like a bit you know, less hard on myself. But today is my first like proper training session back with Matt, my trainer. Please ignore the shoes <laughs> if you can. <laughs> a bit nervous as to what he's gonna, he's got in store for me to be honest. Hello, so this is Matt guys. Hello. Oh God help me. Oh Jesus, already knackered. I did a lot of boxing for years which basically made my whole body lean forward like this. Matt's been helping me correct my posture. I was kind of left with like super strong arms and then not very strong back, so that's why we do a lot of these. When you watch Whitney Houston sing, you can see her whole back and she uses everything in her body to sing, just to project, and it was incredible. We've done what, like 10 minutes and I'm already like dripping with sweat. What is the point of having workout gear where you can see the sweat? It's not that difficult. I'm gonna have like a uh, like sweaty butt crack. I think I've done 20. Matt, are we training tomorrow? Yeah, we're training tomorrow, absolutely. Okay. Thanks Matt, thank you so much for that. Hi. I think I'd better get in the shower, hadn't I? Okay. Hey guys, so I've just had a lovely shower and didn't wash my hair because didn't really need to and I try not to wash it too much. God, the light is terrifying. It's really showing every single flaw on my face. But I'm just gonna cover all those up now. I do use quite a lot of products, I'm not gonna lie. But when I have like sweaty, half sweaty hair that I don't wash, I just spray it with it with this Byredo stuff and it smells divine. I'm gonna use a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. I don't know why, but this stuff is just really good. Be quite aggressive when I put moisturizer on just to really wake up the muscles and then always do my neck. And also because I'm a singer, I'm always using my jaw. So like when I sing, I'm like, ah. So my jaw is constantly clicking around. So I like to keep it nice and massaged. I've never shown anyone my makeup routine before. This is a world first, guys. I just have to inject some color into my face. It's just, I'm so pale. I used to wear so much makeup, but like when I, when I look back at pictures of myself, I think, God, I feel sorry for her because I, I just, I really overcompensated with makeup instead of focusing on actual you know, skin health and my diet and drinking enough water. And instead I would just like smother my face in makeup. I do enjoy the ritual of makeup. I think it's really very therapeutic. I've got to a point where I'm comfortable with no makeup on, but 
I don't know, it's fun, especially after lockdown. I feel like I'm enjoying, like, you know, making a bit more of an effort and dressing up a bit. So I've got three Dr. Wu tattoos that I all got in LA. Both times I played Coachella. And then I got my first tattoo was this random triangle. This one was my first um, big one. I like don't ever look at it, which sounds crazy. Oh, this is um, my prison tattoo from my, my uh, old life. No, just kidding. I actually got this with an X and I was going to get rid of it and I was like, no, I'm keeping it. I kind of like it when, like, I need to be intimidating. And so whenever I'm in a situation where I need to be scary, I just kind of just like put my hand up to my face and I'm like, hmm, yeah. And then suddenly everyone's like, oh, a prison tattoo. I think that's everything. I'll figure out my hair later. I just cannot deal with it right now. Okay, so we're back up in my kitchen. So my brother, Alex, is here now. He's just arrived. Hello. <laughs> we live together. Alex is a chef. He's currently studying at Cordon Bleu, so I make him make all the food. So we're going to make some summer rolls. What was the mango for? Mango's for the summer rolls as well, so we're going to do like julienne of uh, cucumber, carrot, and mango. Sorry, come again? What's the julienne? Julienne is like a little baton. I'm like a big beverage person. Sadly, I do have plastic bottles, but I don't make a habit of having, having any plastic in the house generally. But these Dells for juice are so bloody good. So then we've got Trip, cold brew coffee, skinny tonic, that's embarrassing. I've got more coffee, bottle shot coffee, skinny beer, God. Oh, he, he's just so much better than me. I'm mostly mostly vegetarian, so I, I don't eat I don't eat meat, and I don't I eat like a teeny bit of fish. Pour some boiling water over it. Okay, boiling yes, chef. Water. That'll do. And it's really good. I know it sounds crazy, but we've moved on so much with food. I think I only discovered hummus when, like when I moved to London. <laughs> like we grew up in like near, near Wales, so like we just didn't. Literally, there were some things that we just didn't even know about. Now I keep seeing memes, if you were born in this year, you remember these kind of foods. And like, you know, there's loads of potato smiley faces yeah, and like yeah, waffles yeah. Hash and browns. hash browns and ta-da. Okay, I'm just gonna have one. Mm. Just in case they do decide they wanna be in it last minute. Because it's Vogue and it's pretty cool. This is Hannah and Lucy, two of my best friends, also colleagues. Sometimes I'll come out in the sun and play a bit of guitar, because why not? I usually just kind of noodle around on the chords down here. I can spy on people. Play like foreboding music when people come into the mood. I failed music, yeah. But I'll tell you why I failed music. I remember that I didn't go to my music exam. A girl was bullied me so badly at college, not even at high school, I didn't want to go to college anymore. And it was this girl that liked the same boy that I did she would make everyone ignore me I know that sounds really like serious for this like light-hearted chat but it's true that's why I didn't end up going to my exam because this girl was bloody terrifying so there there's a little fun fact for you okay it's a beautiful afternoon late afternoon so we're gonna go for a nice stroll it does feel strange to be walking out and about and having some kind of normality back again. It's good that people get to have that again. I think it's good for people's mental health. I think that what's happening in the world is incredible. It feels like a new world, like a new age, but we still have to think about the planet and it's just typical, it follows me around. But I think what people have demonstrated the past few months is that you do have the power individually and as a collective, you know, you have that power. It feels incredible, it feels like a revolution. I just hope that these changes are within a healthy planet because without a healthy planet, we, we have nothing. Oh, you're doing so well walking backwards, I could not. <laughs> So our time has come to an end guys but thank you so much for hanging out with me for the day and thank you so much Bo for having me and sending you all my love and see you soon. <laughs> Did I get it? <laughs>